Hi guys, I'm Tonya from Abusif Tattoo and today I want to bring up a little bit of a philosophical question. What if tattoos are not art? And what is the reason to have an attachment to style? Why learn only one way of realizing personal fantasies and limit oneself to the frames of only one artistic manner? I personally believe that a tattoo artist should have their own personal style and a sort of author's handwriting. But also, they should be familiar with different techniques of visualization in terms of tattooing. An artist should have a universal vision in order to solve difficult tasks that come from their customers. For example, check out the works of Banksy or Damien Hirst. They have their own vision while using different materials for different tasks. A key feature for your success is customers demand for your creativity and fantasy, as well as your ability to adapt to trends. No SMM specialist will be able to help you if you don't know how to market whatever you make. You know, most people, they are not really looking for something original. Don't think that if you are somebody who's making unique art, that you are that special that you will attract loads of clients. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. What if tattoos are not art? And if they are, what kind of art are they? High art is not the only reason to get creative or to receive a tattoo. For example, here's a fact from our industry. Mainstream is something that is popular for a very short period of time, maybe a year or two and then it just goes away. But sooner or later, it changes its form slightly and then it returns. It's like a cycle. All the new stuff is the old, well forgotten. Within this mainstream are usually the tattoos that are chosen by many people with similar tastes and an established mutation system. This means that they want to stand out from others, but not too much. Even the tattooed don't want to be the odd one out. It's like being a standard part of the social system during the day and a little bit of a mummy's anarchist at night. It is surprising, but even among the tattooed, one can be seen as a white crow or widow because of their personal tattoo choice. Even among tattoo artists, it happens that they confine themselves to the certain modes of expression. Even though one would think that who else would have more freedom inside the industry? But let's get back to the social tastes. As an example of social tattoos, they are Pioneer Humps, Endless Countless Infinities, and also many people like to stamp themselves with crowns, different signs, and those bigly underboob candeliers. For some, wearing such tattoos may seem ordinary or even shameful, while for others, they can be symbols of bravery, freedom, belief in personal strength, signs of love, close persons, or other meaningful things, all of which have their place. Many think that one has to be a freak or even mentally ill to have a large tattoo, as they are seen like, you know, kind of a bit too much. <laughs> At the same time, however, others appreciate these tattoos and would like to have something similar. The choice of a tattoo can be compared to the choice of a name of a child, I think. Many names repeat themselves like a bug in the system of human count, or even kind of like a lack of symbols or creating new names. You probably have at least a couple of friends who have the same name and even the same surname. Humanity overall isn't very good at being creative. So when the time comes to choose that two or a name, the same kind of script is running. It's like, let's give this kid an unusual, unique, cool name. But then, what if he's going to be having a hard life because his name sounds strange? Or, on the other hand, familiar name provokes trust in the open end, and trust in turn provokes imitation, and in other words, familiar associations and trust can lead to imitation and projection of images. Can this process be considered as art? I don't know. <laughs> Same thing happens at the choice of a tattoo. So, 
you get to choose between something familiar with a little change to it, like a remix, or you choose to have an unusual large project. In any case, every customer takes their tattoo seriously according to their own metrics of the importance and responsibility. So, in the recent year, changes, really severe changes, have occurred in the AI world, which has led many creators to start using AI to produce endless number of reference images for their customers. Some still call that art. To me, art is something that provokes reflective thinking or a very strong emotion of some sort. It is provocative to the viewer and unique in its kind. But that's my personal opinion. Everything else, I think, is kind of like an endless copy of a copy of a copy with simply a meaning of earning cash. It isn't bad, but in that case, shouldn't be called art. Because in this case, the tour is simply like a tool in the hands of a customer. Okay, let's put that aside for the moment, give it a year or two and see how it develops. Meanwhile, I want to speak about what is a canvas within our personal opinion within the tattoo industry. Firstly, I'll list several reasons why people want to receive tattoos. Many want to hide their scars and stretch marks like this. Some take tattooing as a ritual of personal growth and some have tattoos as a reminder of promises made towards yourself. It can also be an element of motivation or a barrier or an unbreakable law. Or it can simply just be a meaningless but a beautiful to oneself piece of accessory. Can this be named out? Leave your thoughts and comments. What meaning has your personal tattoo got for you? At Abusive Tattoo, we think that if tattoo and everything that surrounds it is about art, then everyone's bodies should be taken as a canvas. And what is a canvas in simple words? It is a piece of cloth on wooden frame. A canvas is an inanimate object. It does not hold dialogue with an artist. It does not know what an artist will be painting on it. It does not have an opinion about what it wants to be wearing. Rosal and me have held this philosophy for many years now. Our customers share it towards the tattoos, and in turn, it pays off with the ability for us to create true art. We also think that a tattoo should be deserved as a trophy, at least among oneself. But I think that is a story for another video. Meanwhile, don't forget to sign up to our Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and YouTube. Leave your thoughts and comments, they really matter to us. And I guess see you around. This was Tonya from Abusif Tattoo. Bye.